Hello there, I spent a few weeks offline for Australian summer so I thought I'd check back in with an update in the form of an everyday makeup routine. I always love seeing a snapshot of what's in someone's makeup bag at a particular time or during different seasons. Certainly a summery theme, sorry to rub it in if you're in the northern hemisphere, it's too hot honestly, want to swap. Some days were sunscreen only, others a glowy five minute face of old favourites, but I also got down to business testing some new launches. Can't wait to catch up and hear what's been in your everyday makeup bags lately too. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. So happy to be working with the website builder again in 2023. I use them to make matildaonvideo.com. They've been such great supporters of my channel for the past few years. So I'm very grateful for the chance to team up with them again and share the experience of updating my website this year. But first, on with the everyday face. Never nice to feel like my makeup is melting off in the heat, so I concentrate on lots of SPF, find my most worn formula in my 2022 skincare favourites video, and a little bit of tint on top. Luckily having a good skin season, touch wood, so I've been at the lightest end of my loving light coverage scale, excellent no makeup makeup formula, Trini London BFF cream. Made my annual favourites list three years in a row now because it's a lovely barely there boost. More about a dewy glow with a touch of tint when that greyish colour transforms as you rub it in. The search is on this year for a replacement for my discontinued long-time under-eye brightener Chanel Eclat Lumiere. Just opened my very last backup, so I have to move on soon. YSL Touche Eclat is definitely closest, that's the front runner, but I'm open to trying others. Rare Beauty did just launch an under-eye brightener, so let me know if any of you have tried it. Kulfi Beauty is a New York brand that celebrates South Asian beauty and culture. I've talked about their colourful eyeliners before and I know the founder Priyanka worked so hard to nail this main match concealer. Full name, crease proof, long wear, hydrating. That's what we want. I've been using this as a new spot concealer because I'm scraping the barrel of this clay de peau tube. Main match comes in 12 inclusive shades, medium, buildable coverage so it conceals spots well but doesn't look flat or cakey at all. Kulfi code below. I'm teaching myself to tint my brows at home this year to save money in that area. Going well so far, let me know if you're curious about that process. But for a quick bit of taming, Glossier Boy Brow in Brown was the winner for summer weekends away because it's the smallest brow gel I own. You know the drill, creamy pomade, not crunchy, holds throughout the day. Leaning into bronzer very heavily in a not heavy way with Merit Bronze Balm. I first tried this last November and knew instantly that it was my kind of bronzer. Beautifully blendable, barely there. I've been applying it even more feverishly in this warm weather. You know I love Undone Beauty's extremely sheer water bronzer, but this one might be even easier because it's so light and balmy it blends seamlessly even on dry skin. Sun-kissed cheeks ahead. A new baby blush stick I love, Charlotte Tilbury Easy Lip and Cheek Wand in Super Chic. This shade is so similar to my beloved discontinued Charlotte Tilbury blush stick Formentera. Remember those beach sticks? This is a more pigmented, opaque version. Ideal sun-kissed shade for me. A few quick stripes and I blend thoroughly with my fingers in upward swipes. It comes in this Charlotte Tilbury Quick and Easy set in Super Chic with a shadow and highlighter too, but nothing Nothing about this bulky, clunky plastic box says easy to me. It seems way too chunky for such slim sticks, so I grabbed another shade refill to be able to swap them in and out and carry individually, but the lid doesn't shut. Any ideas apart from blue tack to keep this sealed? Let me know. Charlotte Tilbury code below. A Kulfi blush just dropped. Mendy Moment blush inspired by the pigment and lasting power of henna comes in five shades described as a highly pigmented, long lasting, buildable, blendable cream does it all. Sandalwood Swirls is called a neutral mauve and she's pigmented so I tap my finger on top, blend a tiny bit for a berry sunburnt blush. Completely dries down so work quickly then it stays put. Maybe matte, maybe glowy, different eyeshadow energy here. My favourite new really me makeup find recently has been the REM Beauty Midnight Shadows Matte Liquid in the shade BRB. This is Ariana Grande's brand, ordered from Selfridges, which ships internationally. This matte pink mauve is incredibly smooth, a beautiful shade to enhance eyes without looking like you have a lot of shadow on, or you can really layer it too. Not that far off my top liquid shadow formula from Rare Beauty. Very impressed. Lasts so well, blends well with fingers or a fluffy brush. Refero One or an old MAC 217 have been doing the trick. Oh, they need a wash. Come and see me on Instagram at Matilda on Video for some brush cleaning action soon. 
The accompaniment to that matte, if I want to add a hint of colour and sparkle, is Chanel Stilo Yo Waterproof in Rose Cuivre. A 2022 favourite, such a pretty colour in a great smooth formula, a deep coral pink that pops and brightens and elevates any everyday shadow when you sneak it along the upper and lower lash line. Speaking of bright, the new Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize shade Sunlit Glow is a lot of fun in a warm duochrome way. I saw a clip of Bella Tilbury wearing this and I was sold on this instantly summery, glowy, golden peach pink. Big fan of these pots, so creamy so you don't need much, they set nicely. This one looks better built up to emphasize the metallic finish, so I like layering it on with a flatter shadow brush like Refer 02. No new mascara experimentation for the year yet. Still the same Dior Pump and Volume Mascara from my 2022 favourites. She lengthens, she separates, she has oomph without being too much during the day, or you can keep layering to pump up the volume. Different lip shades and textures for different moods and moments. My latest, almost my natural lip colour for natural looks is Chanel Rouge Allure in A Demi Mot. This was a fall 2022 shade, but it's still around. A neutral mid pink that's not too pale, not too rosy, not too warm, and slightly softer and more subtle than the usual rosier mid tone pinks I go for. This formula is very creamy, even, comfortable, and light. For a soft flush of natural peach, it's Victoria Beckham Beauty Bitten Lip Tint in Poupette. This is the most recent shade release called a Sheer Soft Melon, but I've really rated this comfortable liquid lip tint formula since it launched in 2019. They're not sticky or dry, and they don't emphasize lines on my lips that I didn't even know I had, like some stains do. Taking one of my favorite lipstick formulas and turning up the temperature, in summer, Bobbi Brown Crush Lip Color in Sunset comes out to play again. They have so many great shades for each season, but this vibrant tangerine says hot weather. It's also not orange orange because you can stick to a swipe or two for a softer blotted matte look. On my nails for weeks on end, a bright burst of lilac. Essie Expressi, their fast drying formula in the shade Skate with Destiny. Perhaps it's periwinkle, a little lavender, a bit baby blue, always topped it with Olive and June top coat to help it last longer. I did a short mani recently while traveling, less likely to chip if you don't have a long free edge, and I got to 10 days. Updated mani routine will be coming this year, I promise. Everyday makeup is always a popular topic with you lot, so I'm hoping to share more frequent glimpses into my makeup bag this year, and I've added a blog post on matildaonvideo.com where you can find previous everyday episodes in one place. So grateful to be partnering with Squarespace again. Their generous support of YouTube creators helps us keep doing what we do, sharing great content with you. So here's to more easy to put together blog posts and pleasing website templates that get you started in style. If you want to set up a website, blog or online store this year, you can visit squarespace.com Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Lots of makeup outfit repeating here with a pinch of new product action. Please fill me in on the makeup in your life over the past month. Any holiday gifts or old favourites hanging around? Do the seasons dictate your makeup and colour choices or are you pretty consistent? Talk me through your current makeup bag. Thanks for watching. See you next time.